University is famed for its wealth of beautiful colleges and Rob's Oxford has covered most of these. But what of the many buildings of the university itself? In this series, we introduce the most iconic of these, all carefully selected according to their visual impact and importance within university life. Here, Rob Walters, your Oxford guide, brings you the Radcliffe Camera. Sometimes confused with the Sheldonian Theatre, it is the Radcliffe Camera which dominates many skyline views of Oxford. Here we are approaching from the south, flying over and a little bit close to St Mary the Virgin Church, the historic home of Oxford University. And to our right we can see into All Souls College, Approaching from the north, we are hovering over School's Quad and the Old Bodleian, looking down on the camera with Brasenose College to our right. From the ground, the rear entrance to the University Church gives one of the best views of Radcliffe Square itself. Once again, featuring All Souls College on the right, and then a wonderful view of the camera itself and then finishing at Brasenose on the left. The Radcliffe Camera is a neoclassical building and was completed back in 1748 to the design of James Gibbs. Originally called the Radcliffe Library, it was funded by the beneficence of John Radcliffe, who studied medicine at the nearby colleges of both University and Lincoln. Radcliffe moved to London soon after obtaining his doctorate in Oxford and there he became a popular physician and latterly the doctor to King William and Queen Mary and hence became very rich. We are now at the northern end of the square looking at the side entrance to School's Quad and with the old Bodleian Library above it. As we swing around, you can glimpse Exeter College's raised garden, then Brasenose, and finally the other entrance to the Radcliffe Library. In 1865, it became a reading room of the Bodleian and was then renamed the Radcliffe Camera after the Latin word camera, which simply means room. Under the ground in front of us, it is joined to the old Bodleian itself by the Gladstone Link, which consists of two floors of subterranean reading rooms with a tunnel. I've often worked down there and always enjoyed entering the old Bodleian through the tunnel and then into the Gladstone Link reading room and then later popping up and leaving via this door of the camera. There's a lot going on under your feet in Oxford. Only members may pass through this door. But nevertheless, let's go in. Firstly, we've been sent back in time to the early 19th century, when it was then known as the Radcliffe Science Library. These images are prints, of course, but it is interesting to see how stark it looked to the artist's eye back then. Next, we see it in modern times. A rounded building is not the most suitable design for a library, but it does create a space which is both striking and inspiring for study. The upper and lower reading rooms contain volumes predominantly on history and English, where they are sternly watched over by the statue of the great benefactor John Radcliffe. And if you ever tire of reading, then you can look up to rest your eyes. A dome certainly provides a surface for a beautiful ceiling. The Bodleian itself consists of many libraries, but the Radcliffe camera is surely the most iconic of them all. To many, this building is the symbol of both Oxford the city and its famous university. Oh yes, the Radcliffe Camera is a wonderful building and in a very beautiful setting in Radcliffe Square too. We can thank Dr Radcliffe for that of course and 
the architect, James Gibbs. Do come back for more. There will be more in this series coming along soon. So subscribe and notify.